Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to start making the fireplace circuits on Tinkercad and simulating them. So we started with this project and we did a truth table and we are actually making two circuits. We're making an emergency cutoff and a fault indicator. Then we went in and we simplified it with k-mapping and then we did AOI, NANDs, and NORS. All right. Um, one of the things that we've talked about in class is the NORS way too much, way too complicated. Um, the NANDs, we would end up using um, 27 chips and the AOI, we would end up using um, one, uh, we would use six chips versus uh, seven chips here, sorry. Uh, and so with that, uh, I have students that are doing the AOIs and I have students that are doing the NANDs. Either way you do it, you should come out to the same answer. Um, so I don't mind which one you do it. I'm going to show you guys how to use the NANDs ones. So please feel free to follow along. Um, so first of all, we are going to get into uh, Tinkercad and I'm going to, or I've already done this, but I'd like you to follow along and build this and test it out. So um, we're going to, this is gonna be multiple videos. We're gonna break it apart by around five minutes video. So first thing you're gonna need is uh, two breadboards. Um, then you are going to power and ground it with a power supply. I've got five volts going in. Then you're going to need uh, two LEDs that you bring in. I have um, a 220 ohm resistor. I have a double, um, uh, single pull double throw uh, uh, switches, um, or single pull, single throw, sorry. Um, and, uh, and, and I've got four switches on there. At the bottom of those four switches, I've got 330 ohm, let's see, there it goes, click on it. 330 ohm resistors going to the bottom of each of one of those. Um, then I brought in a quad NAND gate, and you can find that by typing in like 7400, there it is, or you can type quad NAND, and if you, if you want to do that. Now, if you want to do the AND gates, so if you want to do AY and you just type in quad AND, you're going to find these. So here's what a AND gate looks like, here's what an OR gate looks like, and here's what an uh, inverter gate looks like. The beautiful thing about Tinkercad is you can hover over and it will tell you what your inputs are and your outputs are. So that's super helpful because not all chips have the same exact order. So as you go here, uh, pin seven is a ground, and then I go to eight, and it's uh, I'll put input, input, I'll put input, input, and then power. Whereas if I go here, it looks up, it seems to be the same, but we've got an output, so ors are similar. Now, inverters are totally different. So you can see input, output, input, output. So we've got every other. And then NAND gates are a little bit different. So we've got ground here and we've got output here. Now I do want to show you that this is, it looks like it's right on top of there. There's not much space um, if I zoom in there. Uh, so just a heads up, the, these are two different gates. Here's a third gate. So I have all NAND gates. Uh, then I was able to fit four on the bottom. So that'll take care of mine. Um, I have powered, there's my power, there's my power. I've powered each one of the chips. I've grounded each one of the chips. Um, I've also powered and grounded the board here. And then on the bottom here, I've got it going to power and ground here. And one of the last things I like you to do as we set up is just make sure that your lights work and your power works. So I'm gonna to go to switch one and I'm going to click on that and I'm gonna to go to switch two and I'm gonna plug in to that LED. I'm gonna start the simulation 
and I've got my powers working here. I'm going to turn on a switch. You'll see the LED turn on. I'm going to turn on another switch and I'm going to see it turn on. So this is a good spot to call a timeout, check your work, make sure that you've got it looking like this.